actually in this video we are going to answer a simple basic question about molecular biology that molecular biologists when uh, they are doing the cloning experiments that means they are cutting the DNA strands and they are joining the DNA strands by incorporating the sequence of interest they always use uh, that alkaline phosphatase treatment now why uh, they are actually using this alkaline phosphatase treatment so uh, what will be the answer now here uh, we can see that uh, this is our uh, vector now vector is important because they are the vehicles for carrying our desired gene now our desired gene will be in our hands so we need to ligate our desired gene along with the vector to finally make uh, the complete vehicle for the delivery because the delivery package is our desired gene and vector is the vehicle now we need to attach those things up now we can attach them with the help of the enzyme called ligase now you can look back to the video how ligase is actually joining both them or both of them. Uh, you, I have a video on uh, on this topic. You can go back and look at it anytime. Now, the one problem about ligase is that they are not intelligent enzymes. That means uh, it is totally based on the chemical reaction, and the chemical reaction is such that uh, ligase along with adenosine monophosphate provides an additional phosphate group to the five prime phosphate of existing vector. Now, uh, on the other hand, the new uh, gene of desire can attach with this vector with the help of this 2-phosphate group. One adenosine monophosphate will be released and the DNA of interest will be ligated. That is the basic principle. So, if we are having the phosphates free at both the ends, here we can see the 5 prime phosphates are free. That means, whether we are giving any kind of a DNA uh, strand or not, they can easily ligate with each other because they are having the affinity, right? So this is the 5 prime phosphate, 3 prime hydroxyl again in all these cases. So they can drag the phosphate from anywhere, uh, from anywhere else in the cell because inside the cell uh, there are a lot of uh, contents of phosphate. That means we have adenosine monophosphate, adenosine triphosphate, and all all these things are going on all the time. So they can easily drag phosphate from one of them and they can re-ligate between themselves to produce the vectors only. So as a result of that, we will end up with a vector without insert incorporation of our desired gene, which is not at all desired or wanted. So for this purpose, we need to block the ligation or auto ligation of the vector. Now this auto ligation of the vector can be achieved by adding the alkaline phosphatase. Now these alkaline phosphatase enzymes can feed these phosphates out from the both 5 prime end position of the DNA. And as a result of this cleavage of phosphate groups, there are rest, rest of the part of will do with hydroxyl group. So there are no phosphate groups are present, only hydroxyl groups are there. So ligase cannot act on them. So re-ligation or auto-ligation is blocked, which is totally desired. Then the foreign DNA comes in. Now the foreign DNA is having both the ends, uh, they are having phosphates and hydroxyl in both the directions. So they can pair with uh, this vector and they can re-ligate, they can ligate uh, along with this vector and this is what we want. Okay, so sorry. Well, anyways, I actually lost it. <laughs> anyways, so this is the uh, technique of how we can now. Uh, now this is how we can look at this. See, this is the foreign DNA, and they can re, uh, they can be attached with them because by adding this alkaline phosphate, what phosphatase, what we are doing, we are actually blocking the auto ligation of the vector DNA. Okay, so this is the basic thing. Otherwise, all the things are fine. Okay, so that's it. And I hope it will help you. Thank you.